Slide on. Uh, this was this is my glasses. Here, here we go. Not if I like supposed to read, so I don't know if I can use them right now. Slide behind the disc. Oh, let the disc slide. Make all that noise to me. Ooh, it's morning time. I got this thing, uh, liquid chlorophyll, 100 milligrams. Nature's own flavored dietary supplement. It's chlorophyll, you know, chlorophyll, plant stuff. I got this when I was at the African Street Festival up there in New York. Take a little bit. I'm just gonna take a shot. I know you're not supposed to do this, but I just saw time. I looked outside a bottle. Oh yeah, but the enzyme's gonna go in there. And it's gonna change the thing. It's gonna blah 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 blah. Yeah 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 yeah. Ah. Instead of taking shots of whiskey, let's think about it. My peoples, my peoples, my peoples. Instead of taking shots of whiskey, I'm telling you, going, you can feel smooth, you can feel it going through your body right now. Instead of taking shots of whiskey, you know, let me put it this way: the whole thing about when you change something, when you take something away, you're supposed to replace it with something. You know, so in other words, if we have a system that has nearly fully, would say, a system of, um, oh. Anglo racist white supremacy. He says racist. Look, Anglo racist white supremacy, right? And uh, so, if you get rid of that system, you can't just get rid of. It. You have to replace it with something. He says, replace it with a system of justice. Makes sense to me. You get it? Okay. Look, uh, like I said, blah, 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 my sister's house. I got. I'm going to do. Some, you know, I see stuff. You know, because all my stuff is here, just like that. But I just want to briefly just show you a couple of things. First of all, I know y'all don't believe me. See, when I was in college, I had a radio program, they put this one, so I could be cool. Let me get, let me be cool. Wait a second. What am I? Sorry, looking cool. This is a, oh, you can see the brown paper here, brown. It's from a, 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 a student newspaper. It was a week, we had a weekly newspaper called Black Voice Carta Boricua. And it was the only, you know, black and Puerto Rican news, you know, weekly college newspaper in the whole entire nation. I, I'll tell you some other time to find it. I, I became the uh, director of the, well, the editor of the art plays, the, well, we, the art page with poetry and stuff like that. But here's um, early on when I had my radio program, Normal Radio. Not Normal Radio, whoosh, it's before Normal Radio. It's my college radio program. Uh, broadcast over the, uh, well, here it says, I'm gonna read it to you. Oh, this is a little advertising for the program right here. See it right there? It says, listen, radio is radio, you know? But now there is, now there is. Variations in blackness. Wednesdays, 7.05 to 9.30 p.m. over WRSU FM 88.7 on your FM radio dial. See, I threw my radio voice in there. You see how that happens? Let me do it again, because I like to hear Wait, wait, but I want to hear this back anyway. Listen, radio is radio, you know, but now there is variations in blackness. Wednesdays, 7.05 to 9.30 in the p.m. Only over WRSU FM 88.7 on your FM radio dial. Yeah, dig? Okay, anyway, no, I'm oh, sorry. I, I digress. I just had too much fun on the radio. Okay, look. But on the back here, I noticed on the back, you know, because I just ripped this out, right? But this is very interesting. So I take this off. In front of the common students' protest tuition. So I can't read it. It's cut off, right? It says approximately 150 New Jersey students, most of whom were members of the Revolutionary Student Brigade, rallied before Rutgers Commons Thursday evening. The students chanted, Budget cuts can go to hell. Jersey students are going to rebel. Uh, in an effort to express their concerns over the supposed $14 million budget cut crisis facing the state colleges next year. Governor Brendan Byrne, so you see, come on, where do you keep on budget cuts, budget cuts? Where do you keep on hearing this? This was in, I guess this was 74 when I had a radio program. So this is like 1974. But I'm looking at this other thing here that I had. This is uh, Mother Jones magazine, January 1985. I used to have, I have, well, I have a subscription to Mother Jones. Let me put that. Uh, it says Democrats need heart. Democrats need heart and soul. It's an uh, article I just 
um, you know, copy or, or you know, photocopy. And then this was the magazine. I guess the magazine kind of came out of Mother Jones. Uh, this was the yeah, June 1979 issue. Of course, the dollar fifty at the time. How Carter plugs into the nuclear industry. I need to say something about Jimmy Carter. Once, uh, when I was someplace, the last couple, maybe about three years ago, somebody asked me, because uh, you know I'm an American, I was, well, I'm not right now, but I was American, I am an American, but I was, um, I'm in, well, I was in New Jersey, well, New Jersey. early in the morning. Uh, I was um, at Fort Hare in, in, um, in Africa, in South Africa. Right, and somebody else goes to America. They they ask this question: Who's who's the best president? And so I I sort of didn't I did answer it. I sort of because I'm going like there ain't no bit no best president. But then I just want to face that Jimmy Carter never uh, went you know never did a war. You know what I mean? Uh, I think this yeah this is what Barack Obama was pre no this is before Barack Obama was president. Yes, way on. I said I said well Jimmy Carter never did a war. So I said well Jimmy Carter. But when I think about it, because remember I'm an archivist. And in the 80s, I used to do a lot of archiving. I mean, a lot of uh, recording. And Jimmy Carter, what people don't realize, yeah, though Jimmy Carter didn't start a war, the, um, I was taping Michael Clare, not not my not, not his son, but Michael Clare, did a lot of uh, archival work, a lot of taping of forums. And he was lording people to the fact that there was a thing called low intensity warfare. And this is like pre drones. This is like all through the eighties. In fact, I, re I did a I recorded Ron Dellums at the time talking about this too. I think he was from uh, anyway. Low intensity warfare. So basically, we had war. Or it became all the time war. So you you may know um, um, Barack Obama. You know, did did start a war um, as like the drone president. Jimmy Carter was the you know. You didn't really. There was no declared war supposedly. Okay. Anyway. Um, I wrote this thing is this is 1984 December 15th I guess 1984 it's attached to this thing so I must have been responding to something and I guess oh I, I sent this to Mother Jones as an editorial piece I guess and I so I, your mama maybe Mother Jones your mama I've been supporting your magazine since the days it was for the rest of us R E progressives right after reading D Osborne's end piece advocating. Gary Hart's new ideas, for question mark, and Mario Cromo's soul, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Then I go into this, dot, dot, and then put four dots. Four dots meaning, you know, there's more, but I'm, I'm ending it, right? I know why you have, I, I know why you have dropped the subtle, oh, I'm sorry. I know why you have dropped the subtitle in favor of neoliberalism, the subtitle meaning for the rest of us, the magazine for the rest of us. What is Jesse Jackson? Chop Chiplins? We read that like that. What is Jesse Jackson? Chop chitlins? I mean, what is freedom for the bombardier? Freedom for Cuban re uh, rebel reactionaries? Dialogue for the Salvadorians? Binding, healing, tearing, activism of the Democratic Party? I continue, I continue my subscription only because one has to know what one's friends are really thinking, uh, positioning, wanting to do. So basically I'm saying that Mother Jones, this this is 1984, I'm saying they're sort of changing their stuff, you know, it's like, you know, like, what, what's, what's, it, what's that thing that, whatever the, the tech company said, do no evil, now they're doing evil kind of thing. So, you know, that's the way they get you going, da 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 da, -da. And I saw, uh, that's a T, T, there was Anthony T, F L L T T Sloan, Low East Side, that's when I was living on the Low East Side. Um, but I should tell you, then a few after that, that's when they they had um, they they had a picture of the staff. Shortly after, they had a picture of the staff, and the whole staff was white, except for there was one sister, and I think she was a secretary, right? You know, like that. But one sister, no brothers, all white, and I I ended my subscription right there. And that was it. So that's just a short. I guess it's short. Short enough. Because I'm going through stuff here, and I just wanted to alert you that uh, short, a little knowing that the more thing, history is with history, and it, it it keeps on revolving. We're doing this uh, hamster wheel, you know. People say they're revolutionary; they're just hamster wheeling it. You know, things haven't changed. They haven't changed because we haven't changed it because we're still operating in that same hamster wheel system. You have to break the system. 
And I think that's where ADOS comes in. More on that some other time. More on that from me. T from the Pastors taking the train to Tibet. From a desk of the ADOS, North American descendants of chattel slavery. 